Leicestershire lost their last six wickets for six runs as Graham Napier and Jake Mickleborough led a superb Essex fight back on the second day of the LV County Championship match in Chelmsford. Leicestershire began day two on an impressive 328 for four on a good pitch and there was no sign of what was about to come as Matt Boyce and Ned Eckersley continued their partnership which began the day on 116. This cut took Boyce to his 50 having started the day on 37. He needed 112 balls for it from which he'd found the boundary on eight occasions. It also carried his sight to 350 for a fourth batting bonus point. By now, Eckersley had secured the best score of his career, surpassing the 137 he made against Glamorgan last year. He'd started the day on 133 and now carried his partnership with Boyce to 147 after 35 minutes of play. Yet, in the next 35, Leicestershire had been bowled out. The amazing collapse started when Napier had Boyce caught behind the wicket after he'd made 54. Eckersley followed next on a brilliant 147, Napier with a dipping Yorker. Two balls later, Anthony Island was also bowled as Napier swung back in with pace. Greg Smith then joined in the fun by finding the edge of Ollie Freckingham's bat, leaving it to Napier to finish things off in a hurry. Josh Cobb drove him to mid-off on four. And last man, Alex Wyatt, departed for a duck as he was outdone by an almost unplayable late inswinger from Napier, who ended with five for 77, all five wickets coming for four runs in 27 deliveries. From 359 for four, Leicestershire had been dismissed for 365, that remarkable spell giving Napier his third five-wicket haul of the season. The pitch had no part to play in his brilliance, nothing had changed, a point proved by Hamish Rutherford and Mickleborough, who now found themselves padded up much earlier than they would have anticipated. Yet they soon settled in, playing some neat shots either side of lunch, with the pendulum swinging completely Essex's way. Leicestershire have been here before against this opposition in recent seasons. 62 runs of the deficit had been knocked off by the time that the visitors tasted some success half an hour into the afternoon session. Rutherford timing a flick off Ireland well enough, but straight to Wyatt at long leg. Boyce called on 21-year-old debutant James Sykes, and with his 16th ball in the first-class game, he had Greg Smith held by Joe Burns at slip. A great moment for the youngster. Mickleborough showed what he's capable of in the recent Ashes warm-up match against England. He's in very good form right now and he went to another 50 here off his 88th ball. While few others had managed to score runs on this day, Mickleborough had been a rock for his side and a much needed one. O.A. Shah was the next man to go before T, edging Wyatt behind on 15 to leave with his side on 98 for three, still 267 runs behind. So in spite of their excellent work in the first two sessions, Essex still had work to do in the last one. While Ryan Tenderscarter played well enough, it was Mickleborough who shone out with what was becoming another inspirational innings. He's clearly taken some confidence from his efforts against England. He added 53 with Tenderscarter, who was out for 23 half an hour after tea, striking his shot off Freckingham with amazing power, but straight to Shiv Thakor. Mickleborough, who was in and out of the side earlier in the summer, now perhaps confirmed the opener's spot for the rest of the year, as this shot took it to his terrific ton of 186 balls. It was the fourth of his career. That was his 13th four, and he added three more as he batted right through to the end to ensure that this day had definitely belonged to his team. Leicestershire must have been left wondering how it had all gone so wrong for them after a fantastic first day. Ben Folk supported Mickleborough well for the last 90 minutes of the day as this pair added an unbroken partnership of 65 in 25 overs. It was a stand which has given Essex every chance of getting well ahead on the penultimate day on Friday. With Mickleborough still there after four and a half hours of batting on 121 and Folk's on 25, Essex will start on the third morning on 216 for four, which leaves them 149 runs behind. The second new ball is due in five overs, and Leicestershire will hope that that helps them out.